Scotland, known for its rolling hills, picturesque valleys and rainy days. But as our climate changes, so does the weather. Towering above the country's capital, the iconic Edinburgh Castle, one of hundreds of Scotland's historic sites, feeling the effects, I met with David Harkin, a climate scientist working to protect these places. Good to meet you. Predictably, it's raining. I mean, classic Scotland, really. Yeah, welcome. Great view, though. Unbeatable, I'd say. With a history dating back almost 3,000 years, it's a site worth saving. So this is Castle Rock. It doesn't get much more historic than this. Uh, no, absolutely. I mean, you're actually almost certainly standing in one of the longest continuously inhabited places in the UK. Amongst the stones, stories of royalty, war and sieges. People tried to attack this castle again and again. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. Various points throughout its history. With some traditions still kept alive today. I'll be able to hear again soon. <laughs> But now the castle is on the front line of a different kind of battle. Last July, an extreme rainstorm turned a 17th century courtyard into a waterfall. The weather can quite literally shut this place down, much like the old battles and the old sieges used to do. This castle has fought against adversary after adversary. That's right. Has it ever faced anything like climate change? Today, in the 21st century, climate change I would say is arguably the, the greatest threat that uh, the castle faces. For scientists like David, the writing is on the wall. So you've had what's called delamination. A thin surface layer sort of has fallen off. This is supposed to happen in a way. Um, but not fast. But not as fast as climate change will make it happen. It's not just Edinburgh Castle. A quarter of Scotland's buildings are historic. Its many Neolithic sites abbeys and ruins threatened by sea level rises and storms. To preserve the past, conservationists draw on techniques both old and new, tracking decay using digital mapping techniques and maintaining sites with constant repairs. With all this heritage to protect, perhaps it's not surprising that Scotland is a world leader in climate change mitigation. By 2045, the Scots aim to reduce net greenhouse gases to zero. And in a rare glimpse from the castle roof, beauty and vulnerability on full display. You stand here and you realise how exposed this castle truly is to all of the elements. That's right, yeah, I mean, the, the castle and its different structures and components will be really exposed and vulnerable to, you know, every passing storm. We already know that Scotland's about one degree warmer. We know that our wettest days are getting wetter. We know that our hottest days are getting hotter. Scotland, with its rich history, now working to protect its future. And guys, you know, it's an aspect of climate change that perhaps we don't think about. There are actually historic sites around the world that are threatened by the changing weather. I guess also I should just uh, clarify for viewers, guys, that I'm not in Edinburgh and I'm not outside a castle. I'm outside my own house, uh, <laughs> even though I know Al thinks I live in a castle. That's right. That's right. Every man's home is his castle. And ladies. Uh, yes. Thank you. All right, Kira. That was a, that was a fascinating piece. It Thanks really so was. much. Thanks, Thank Kira. you, Kira. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.